this comp is full auto from start, affinity friendly on Brutal, Cl uh, Nightmare and Ultra Nightmare, and it's fully spirit affinity friendly. Hey guys, this is Hell Hades. This is a Raid Shadow Legends video. Guys, we've got Saf coming on to show off a really cool new unkillable team based on some of the work that Deadwood has already done with his group of guys around the Mitha, uh, but only using her for the unkillable. So not having to bring in another unkillable champion. And actually, it's a team that works all over the place. All affinities on Ultra Nightmare, Nightmare and Brutal. Just pressing auto from the start. It's kind of gross. You will hear um, some music playing when we actually get to the clan boss run. That's going to be Sound Stripe Music, who are one of the, the sponsors of my channel. Uh, I will put a link below, along with the link for the actual comp that we run. But the link will be to Sound Stripe if you want to use royalty-free music in streaming or YouTube. Uh, you can click my link and you get 15% off any subscription using my code HellHades. Let's get into the comp. Okay, so Saf, do you want to just kind of give people... Um, yeah, just a, a quick 30 seconds on you, how you got into raids, how long you've been playing, all of that good stuff. Yeah, so I started playing around about March 2020, just around about, around like the UK lockdown starting. Um, I used to play like way, way, way back, back when sort of mobile games really kicked off, like Wii Farm and Wii City. And it that kind of like min-maxing mentality that I have where you, you have to like try and like find the most efficient path. I kind of missed those types of games. So I was looking around and I think I caught a sponsored stream of Raid at some point. Right. <laughs> I don't know whose it was. Um, Sounds about right. Uh, yeah. And they were playing. I was like, oh, I'll give it a go. And then, you know, you, you get hooked in. It was around about just, after, just towards the end of Battle Pass ending. Um, and I was playing it for a bit. Got really hooked on it. Didn't spend too early, but then I started spending. I bought the Battle Pass in the end because I think it's so good. Yeah. And uh, and yeah, so I was playing for about two months, just going through. Then I started getting to that point where you, you start trying to go, okay, I, I'm stuck. How do I get past this stage? And uh, I think I came across your one of your videos, I think, through different sources and jumped into Discord. And I was I, like a lot of people that come into Discord, a complete idiot and a novice. I didn't have a clue what I was doing. So people were helping me out. And uh, yeah, and it got from there. To, uh, now I'm a bit of a nerd when it comes to raid. Yeah, so you're... What people are saying here is the numbers, man. So you literally delve into the detail, uh, and obviously you do this within HH Gaming as well, and on the mm -hmm. HH Gaming YouTube channel. But you delve into the detail to properly understand how things actually work. Yeah, that's, that's kind of like your guy. passion, right? Um, yeah. They yeah. can hire me if they want to do one plus one. I'm, I'm pretty, <laughs> I'm pretty good at doing basic maths. I know they yeah. uh, have a, a very dishonest opinion of the way maths work but um yes i like to know exactly how something is meant to work so that when we actually do it we can find the most efficient and the, like the best way of doing something min maxing that's kind of my addiction in terms of what we're doing today you want to show off a new clan boss team that you've built based on one of the ones that deadwoods had built right yeah so we haven't had really a clan boss like game breaker to some extent, for a very long time, you know, we we haven't had yeah. someone who can basically shake up the tower or the man eater and killable comp. Yeah, so Deadwood has done a, a very good YouTube series on um, different Demitha comps. So if anyone is interested, this comp that I'm going to be showing in a bit is more of your sort of top, low, sort of end gamey comp uh, where you're going to need to push more up gear. But he's got a number of really good two key comps which are budget unkillable varieties and i think he did one today or yesterday which was a an even easier speed requirement apart from the man eaters what i decided was can i get more damage by using fushan fushan, now, fushan yeah. so this is the fu yeah this is the, the fu <laughs> i've been trying to come up with a name like you know something like a, a fu myth there or something um yeah. so i just i can't come up with a name yet i'll see what i can find but so what I what we basically did, I, I was I was talking with Sean Skills and he was helping me try and find the balance here. So we lose the fifteen percent two meter gain that you, that Deacon would bring. Um, yep. So we need to account for that. But also we're going to gain five percent more speed. So what sure. it works out is you do need to lift the Mitha up a lot. But this isn't really a major problem because she doesn't hit hard anyway. She's only got the one attack. So she's never going to really crank out much damage. So you can just put any gear on her to get to those speeds. But yeah. once you get past that, you need to then have ARS on a 265. 
Now, she doesn't actually technically any, need to any be... Any flexibility here at all, or is that literally... These okay, are the yes, minimums. Does, does move. Not there's a lot a... of flex, but there's a little bit. So I've run this on Nightmare and uh, Ultra Nightmare, and it works perfectly fine with these speeds. The two difficult ones are going to be Demitha and Eris. In terms of speed? Yeah. Yeah. The so, Eris... I mean, if, I, if I had... If I'd actually got her on my free-to-play like I wanted to, then... This Keep would be me kind content. of tapping out probably with my best gear. Yeah. Honestly. But yeah. This is why I was saying this is probably like for a, a later game account. You would yeah, probably, and you're free to play, game. go to like, um, I think Deadwood's comp today did about 45 million on Ultra Nightmare. Sure. Yeah. And, he, and the speeds were about 150 on all the team. It was crazy good. Um, this is really if you really want to push for that one key damage. I would say two. you don't need to build any damage into your demyth anyway because she's not really going to do damage so no so if you look at her build here building speed and actually you don't need accuracy in her build either do you so it's actually no. you don't need anything getting the right speed yeah but once you get past those two the, the dps speeds are actually really obtainable i was just thinking they're really slow they're really slow which means you can make them really high damage exactly this comp is full auto from start affinity friendly on brutal clan, uh, nightmare and ultra nightmare and it's fully spirit affinity friendly. You don't need to change and, and anything. Same, same setup on all of them, is it? Same setup on all of them. So if you look in the calculator and change it up, you'll see that what you actually find is Ultra Nightmare has a bit of a weird setup at the start, but it's not a problem. Um, yeah. And the Nightmare comp will fall into line what, what should fall into line quicker. Much quicker, both of them do, yeah. Yeah. Awesome. So, okay. so you can see the same thing is happening again in the sense that Eris is going first to make sure she cleanses any debuffs. And the Demitha is going last to make sure she puts the um, uh, the, the block damage on. So, in so we were talking before, like Fushan is basically replacing the Deacon here, uh, yes. and you need his speed aura to make this these speeds work. Yeah. Um, Ares is kind of irreplaceable, right? Unless you've got like a man eater, and then it's a different team. Uh, maybe two. I know it's a void legendary, but does two hack do it as well? I feel like she does. Might be wrong. Not sure. Geo could work as well, right? In this spot. Uh, yes, Geo can work instead of Annex. Um, Thane could go in there. Yeah. Um, so, so yeah, so there's different your combos. Main like your Dracos and all those type of people. Draco, like the, yeah. The big boys, yeah. Anyone um, who's got that sort of damage. The reason why I've chosen Annex is he hits really hard. Yeah. He also poisons at a faster rate than someone like Thane. Um, and he also has like a secondary, uh, like a decreased defense. So you've got two affinities that can do decreased defense. Go through the builds. Go through the builds quick, yeah. So um, in fact, let me share my screen with you so you can see where I'm up to. So Better. I should say to everyone, I use the team optimizer a lot for this. Um, using like the priorities uh, again. So like kind of going right first, tune Arbiter, then tune my second speed lead. Then it was like, okay, well, I want to um optimize for different people now i always i chose optimize for damage here but what i was finding was happening is every time i would start with demitha it'd go here have the like triple speed triple crit rate triple this and i was like no i don't want to i don't want to devote my good pieces to someone who's yeah. not do damage Definitely. so the team optimizer i can almost tell it to go and put say anax first and then if you whatever you've got left try and find the speeds yeah which is quite a good makes sense so that's what i used so, Demitha, you just basically, although you've probably got damage within your build because your gear allows it, but you're basically, ju you just got to hit this speed number. Yeah, um, 296. But, but it makes sense that if you can do it and put her with an attack percent chest and crit rate gloves, you're just mm -hmm. going to do a bit more damage. Yeah. Um, yeah. Essentially, so, that's what I did. I chucked it into the optimize and I said, optimize for damage, but give me the minimum speed. And then it will give me just the best damage build for that speed that's available. Yeah. And Warmaster, obviously important. And because you've got a block damage comp here, that's what makes Anax possible to run as well. It's worth saying, isn't it? Because with a normal yeah. unkillable comp, like a Manny to one, he's it's a nightmare. pretty tricky to set up. But a block yeah. damage comp is actually really useful. So um, the thing about Masteries here, which is important to note uh, on Demitha, is you don't want to be taking Cycle of Magic. You don't want to be taking any turn meter. But you can take lasting gifts and it shouldn't have any impact if you wanted to use her in other content. Um, it won't increase the block yeah. damage, but it no. will increase the continuous heal. It's probably the only decent mastery. Oh, okay. there's, yeah. there's no point going down the defense tree because none of it will add any value. Um, and I've stopped at these masteries because, to be honest, unless I really want one extra turn on continuous heal, it's not, not it's just pointless, really. 
This does affect her AOE heal though, yeah? Yes. Those yeah. few masteries are are huge. Plus the books, yeah. you know, she's getting twenty five percent extra healing. And if you put the um the healing mastery on your people you want to heal, that's another five percent. Yeah, what this so, one here. Yeah. Why I can get hundred and fifty thousand on this Uga. Yeah, it's it's nuts, yeah. <laughs> it's so strong. Um okay. so yeah, so she's um, just built in that for that. And then let's go to the other speed champ before we go on to your DPS then. So here is two sixty five mm -hmm. speed was the important number. Um Again, no debuffs to land. No accuracy. No. Yeah, she just no needs to. needed, which is cool. There's, there's actually, uh, it's quite it's really useful having champs that don't need accuracy that want the speed, to be honest. And the thing about Ares is she's a farmable champion. So you can go to campaign and just farm her, get the books. Yeah. So no, really, no resources need to be invested into it. And what's a, so counterattacks the attacker when an ally is attacked. So mm -hmm. every single hit, she gets a counterattack. Yeah. She's basically got a hundred percent retaliation set. She's actually yeah, a pretty good, um, pretty good rare. What sort of? Uh, I guess we'll see in a minute what sort of damage she does. Because this is a damage build. Although you've got a speed, yeah. okay, the crit damage is not that high, but you've built off four damage. So mm -hmm. uh, I'm quite interested to see what she does. Yeah, and the same okay. thing with masteries on her. Oh yeah. Pretty much all of them are useless on the support tree. Like I've just picked random ones. I've gone evil eye because I could. I yeah. deliberately, you, you could obviously pick Laura Steele, but I built her before I did the mastery. So that's why I haven't picked Laura Steele because it would break the tune. But if sure. you wanted to try and improve it, you could obviously, you know, build that and that will obviously improve your um, potential. Yeah. Uh, yeah. But yeah. Uh, just... I just want to, sorry, mate, I just want to quickly jump in and say some thanks because I've seen I've got some subs coming here. Nathan, Oxlane, 18 months. Uh, Phoenix, gifting out five. I missed earlier. Sorry about that, man. Thank you so much. Um, sorry, that's probably when we were messing around with all the, the um sound stuff xmas on as well zyjan and lethal thank you all so much appreciate it guys um so yeah a good question in chat here as well saf why not i guess retribution's just pointless right it's just pointless all of it thinking yeah. about it the thing is you're not gonna lose damage that's the problem you, this comp you will see you're never below 100 percent hp even yeah. the setup because i was thinking when i was going to start this i was like well i'm going to lose damage to start with and i wanted to make sure i had at heart of glory activated yeah. Um, but the Demitha heal is just so strong. You don't need any other form of healing. You'll be at 100% all the time. Um, one question I did just see in chat, does the Geomancer passive work with block damage? Yes, it does, 100%. You can have a five, you can take zero damage and Geomancer's 3% will still work. Yeah, that's just cool. It's that. actually an upgrade from what it was. Yeah, um, kind of broken. So let's look then at Fushan, who's your speed lead. Um, but kind of like the Deacon replacement here. Uh, and just out of interest, do you know if you've got Deacon but not Seeker, can you factor that in that way around? I know you've taken Deacon out. Could you take Seeker out in the same fashion? I, I guess you can. You can. The speeds it's might be a bit more speeds. awkward. Yeah. Yeah. Just, be it's just because. I mean, you could technically run double double Deacon, right? There's no reason why you couldn't sub out the Seeker if you've got two Deacons and just bring yeah. the speeds down up a bit. Um, that's all I've done with this one is I brought the speeds up to account for the fact that we're getting 15% less turn meter per turn. Um, sure. If I, I, I also had an idea in my head about running double seeker and seeing what if we could really pull the speeds down by running like a double seeker yeah. kind of situation. I'm sure you can. I'm sure you. Uh, but then you wouldn't have a speed lead, would you? Um, well, no. Or you could move. You could move some like Fushan into a damage position and just basically run without weaken. Um, okay. You, there's option, you know. There's there is options there, but if you, I, I, I do wonder how low it would go even without a speed lead. Yeah. yeah. So Fushan is in a pretty strong build. This is this is high damage build right here. Yeah. Five point five k attack, two seven seven crit damage, and obviously you've got your accuracy to land your um, decreased defense as well. Uh, mm -hmm. I actually I was I did a video today just talking about legendary champions, and I was saying like this A one when it goes off, yeah. it goes off. <laughs> Um, I, I literally just did a nightmare test and people are going to see it is just like you think you think Jintoro hits hard just you wait yeah just you wait if it okay. if it does what it does normally it's going to be insane numbers and then Master is basically the same again so interesting I, would, I guess you don't take any damage yet there's no point in defense masteries at all yeah it's completely counterintuitive to how you would build a man to comp you want yeah. heart of glory um I've obviously decided to take um, Wrath of the Slain because I might use him in other content, so he's going to kill people. Yeah. Um, and again, gone down Laura Steele. I've gone Sniper, and I've gone um, 
master hexer i really yeah. need to check whether sniper would have any impact on that I ability that. there yeah it's just exactly what i was about to ask yeah i have no idea i need to test it it does specifically say debuff so i doubt it does because it's yeah. not an, an extra hit isn't classed as a debuff it's an instant i guess but uh it would be interesting to to see yeah okay and then we've got a seeker the one with, with the shield the yeah shield yeah so you haven't done toxic set i guess because you've got poison from anax you'll probably see in this tune that toxic is a bit awkward he's like when i was thinking about the comp i was thinking will there be enough poisons from anax it is a three turn poison which we'll see in a second yeah um, and i've put master hex on so i thought is he going to keep it up it's in that awkward phase where sometimes you think i could fit a toxic and then sometimes you just it would just overflow it you just worried you're not going to be able to apply the the weaken and the decreased defense so none of the, none of these sets have toxic right um if i was to improve this actually the one things i would be looking for is retaliation and revenge artifacts yeah yeah this would increase the damage significantly i think no uh, sure so you actually got like four times attack but so one of the things you want to look at when you're building your champs out is not necessarily the final number you get to it's how many times you've managed to multiply the base by because that's how your damage starts to ramp up and then uh, obviously crit damage on top of that but a lot of people so when you've got someone like seeker here with a low base attack this is actually a, a phenomenal build 4.3 4.4k attack is huge it's a uh, big I'd imagine build he's got attack boots yeah attack chest and, and a lot so this is going to be seeker hitting like an absolute machine mm -hmm. um looking forward to that as well okay uh, and let's check his masteries as well uh, basically the same again so the only thing of importance here is i've actually gone lasting gifts because at times in the tune certain champions will lose uh attack buff okay. like very very early so the lasting gift is just to try and help mitigate some of those those early bits before he does his a2 again where they've sure. just gone before him and it's it's a bit awkward yeah makes sense but otherwise yeah it's again look we just standard heart of glory down the left get war master um and just like i've yeah. just gone down the left hand tree because i'd have to cross over and i don't want to touch cycle of magic or any of the other buffs that would affect him here like you say you could get laura's steel in all of these builds to bring the speed requirement down a touch right yeah you could and also potentially increase the damage if you're running triple cruel you know yeah. five percent was it 15 percent on 45 yeah, you don't need any the healing benefit although you want to like you say you wanted to end on lasting gifts so you'd probably have to come I into just, here and then yeah, double down I, to the left i could have gone sort of down uh lower steel and then gone to the the the, uh, the mastery that gives you speed um instead of cycle of magic but the one thing you definitely don't want to take is cycle of magic any of the yeah, turn meter games no -no. yeah because that will break your turn as well yeah okay and then anax is your last one so anax pretty damn slow really one seven one uh, again, massive attack, uh, big crit damage, got the accuracy to land your debuffs. Um, and you've gone cruel, one set cruel, and then just random yeah. gear basically to make the helm is a bit disgusting. I'll, I'll be honest. Yeah. The helm is Triple disgusting. Triple attack, nice. <laughs> yeah, the helm is disgusting. This isn't as good as short on skills annex, though. So I was a little bit disappointed with that. Oh, really? Yeah. He's got a better one than me. Um, <laughs> but, uh, but again, same thing, same kind of support tree taking support just means you get a lot more um i suppose real estate to push your stats because you can just get more accuracy you can get more um more from laura steel the important thing here is master hexer um if you chose like for whatever reason you didn't want to run fushan his a1 isn't as reliable for a decreased defense he can do it but it's a 30 percent chance and it only books to 35 yeah it's um, actually quite low it's lower than i thought it was yeah if, if you're running retaliation on revenge it's obviously a lot safer uh, so I just if decided. You retaliation uh, and you're not taking any damage. Does it still proc? Yeah, it's when it's when you're attacked. Okay, so you don't have to be actually physically hit. No, it's just thirty five percent chance to counter attack when you're hit, um, and then the avenging obviously is when you're critically hit, which you wouldn't do for PvE content. Yeah, uh, it's the same thing with revenge. It's a uh, five percent stacks up to fifteen percent, and I'm pretty sure revenge and retaliation roll separately anyway, so it's not like a combined fifty percent. Um, but it would be a very big damage increase, I think right let's do it then let's get in there oh um, so we should probably check the ai tool just a sec just so there's some optimizations you can do with fushan in the team preset yeah yeah that, that yeah. myth myth shan so what you should 100 percent do with fushan is turn off his a2 his okay. a2 is great for arena for clan boss it's absolute trash 
because it does exactly the same damage as an A1, and you is, lose is the twenty five percent. It is, but it's not enough damage. So, so the, it's the same damage as an A1, even when it hits twice. Yeah. So the combined double hit is the same as an A1, but obviously what you lose is the twenty five percent chance. So you'd yeah, be better off just running that. It, it's yeah. so much stronger. And obviously we just keep the A3. Um, I've I've been testing whether I start with the A1 or start with the A3. I don't really think it matters, to be honest. Um, and actually for this run, it, you can probably turn off open with A1. I was testing it earlier and I don't think it matters. So just... Um, yeah, yeah, I feel like that would be your best bet. Just at least get decreased defense down as early as possible. Now, surely this does more damage than the A1. No. No? No. Wow. <laughs> Day one is insane. Okay, um, we will see. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the reason why I was doing that, because I was trying to time it with Annex's A1 just in case the decreased defense didn't go on. So I was trying to make sure that the skills were in, in the right places. Um, but actually, I missed one of the A3s, so I realized he can probably do it on his own. Um, the myth of setup is just prioritize it. So I was doing some testing with her A2, and her AI likes to sometimes not use A2. I think it's trying to basically decide, do I need to heal rather than do I need to in extend buffs? So I'm just right. telling the system, I want you to always do it in that order. Always do it this way around, yeah. Yeah. Uh, Anax, I think, is default. ARS yeah. is default. I've just told it to use A2 just in case it doesn't want to for whatever reason. And yeah. Seeker is open with A1. So it's just a one-turn delay on Seeker. So this makes you fully auto from the start against all clan bosses, this setup. Yeah. Awesome. Um, that is awesome because, I mean, I know at the minute I've had a clan boss team running for a while where I have to set it up. Not a lot, by the way. I get to about the stun round and then I'm, I, before the stun even, I'm auto. But, you know, when it's like, I've been doing this now every day for the last two years, I'd love to just press that auto button and go and make a cup of tea. Magic affinity is... Bad for Anax. What? Bad for Anax, but strong for Fushan. And then neutral elsewhere, is it? Yeah, yeah. So you, you probably have just noticed he's just literally weak hit on his A3, which lands weak in already yeah. talk about bad luck okay let's get the prediction out there so you've got one minute guys bet your channel points away bet your life away at this point um will we one key on the worst affinity for this team or not <laughs>
Let's have a look at this damage then. Um, 79.5 million on the worst affinity we're going to face. Ultra Nightmare. 25 mil from Fushan, who was basically the new addition, which is way more than a Deacon would do. That's, what, that's why you bought Fushan into yeah. this, right? It's just Fushan... Deacon will do about 10 smacks. million, I'd have thought. Yeah. Um, and as we said up front, really, Demethia doesn't do a lot of damage. Like 5.6 mil is actually super low for someone... She's built... Oh, I know she's fast, but she's built with it, damage yeah. in mind. It's not because she can't. It's because she's only attacking once. It's what it comes yeah. down to. She's basically a going oh, course, A1. Yeah. She's spending all her time buffing and stuff. She's not um, attacking. Yeah, yeah so for 5.6 mil for basically one double attack every you know 50 turns, if you think of a typical 1-1 one, one comp, you know, you're free to play ones, you'd be looking at going, that's not too bad. Um, yeah. And then Anax, 20-odd mil. Ares, 13 mil. Seeker, 16 and a half. Um, yeah, that's good damage. Actually, Eris pulling her weight really, nearly thirteen mil from that rare. Mm. Um, it's all yeah. to do with the counter attacks as well. It's the mass, it's the war master more than anything else. Like probably yeah. fifty percent of that is war master procs. Yeah, for sure. That's cool. That's cool. Excellent team, man. Really cool. Um, yeah, I like I like Fushan coming in here. It just sparks it up a bit to get to that kind of one key territory. And as we say, like Anax is totally interchangeable with anyone yeah. that's going to be your DPS. It's ideal if they do bring a weaken. He missed weaken for most of that fight, by the way, guys. Like, well, not most of it, but a good chunk of it. There was no weaken out. So you can imagine what this does on Boyd. Nightmare. And this is set up exactly the same. Just press play. Just press auto. Don't have your cup of tea. Walk the dogs. Come back 20 minutes later. Uh, in fact, you could actually come back 10 minutes later and just have yeah. the, the key done. Exactly this was on force well. affinity mm. so in this position annex is obviously strong affinity um yeah. but seeker is weak affinity so you obviously do always have some negatives but yeah yeah, yeah. saf thank you so much for coming on and talking to us for it man it's yeah really thanks. cool really good team